Tonight on Sports Central, we go over our next team prediction of this offseason. And it's going to be over the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, a team that was 3-6 and six overall in the 2020 season. And this is a Rutgers team that actually had a pretty good 2020 season. Obviously, uh, this is a Rutgers team that in the past uh, decade has just had a terrible time in the Big Ten, uh, especially since they joined in 2014. And, of course, uh, this team was pretty good when they first joined the Big Ten, 8-5 record. But ever since, they've had a tough time even getting past four wins. So uh, for this team to get three conference wins last season was uh, not a bad year for this team. And this team is definitely on the rise going into 2021. How this team will be in 2021, though, is what we'll be going over here today. We're going to get started with Rutgers' final prediction. We'll be looking at your season trends from last season to get things started here today. So once again, uh, this team was 3-6 and six overall. Not a bad team here. I mean, once again, Rutgers, of course, has had, had a pretty terrible history over the past few years um, in the Big Ten. I mean, they went winless um, in the conference play uh, between 2018 and 2019. So uh, it was a big deal for this team to get three conference wins last season. And Really, if you look at this team, I mean, if they could have won, if they had a real regular 2020 season, this team definitely could have made it to a bowl game, if you ask me. I mean, uh, having three wins in conference, I mean, if you get three non-conference wins, there you go. You're up to six wins. But anyway, for this team, of course, last season, they did uh, lose to Michigan. But the thing is about that game is they put them into three overtime. So uh, that was not a terrible loss there. I mean, it was very close. Uh, they beat Purdue 37-30, also beat Maryland 27 to 24 so not a terrible season for this team once again also kept it pretty close against nebraska even though they still lost it by a touchdown uh they're one and four in their first five games two and two in their last four so uh this team even though they had the uh three and six record uh once again was not a terrible season for this team i mean there's definitely some improvement for this team even looking at him from 2019 to 2020 there was a lot of improvement on this Rutgers team and I mean, they were at the very bottom back in 2018. If you look at this team, in 2018, they were 1-11. Uh, they were up to 2-10 in 2019 and 3-6 and in 2020. So this team is slowly uh, but surely improving. So it's going to be interesting to see how this team does as we head into uh, 2021. And, of course, Greg Schiano, uh, he's going into his second season as head coach as well. So don't forget about him. Looking at your returning production going into next season, of course, you got Noah Vedrill. Uh, who is coming back. And, of course, he was the transfer in from Nebraska uh, for last season. He played pretty well. Uh, he put up 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns, eight interceptions, and a 62% completion rate. So he was decently accurate, uh, but he also played pretty well. If you look at even his touchdown interception ratio, I mean, he threw. He definitely needs to fix up his interceptions, but, I mean, he's definitely a player that I think brings potential uh, to this team. Order Sikowski is transferring to Illinois, so he will not be in the quarterback position next season. Noah Vedrill looks like he's going to be the primary starting quarterback for just about all of 2021. Uh, Isaiah Pacheo, uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but he's coming back for next season. He put up 600 yards. Uh, he was your top running back last year and pretty much the only running back that had a major impact on this team. Uh, Noah Vedrill did rush for about 200 yards as well, so you can't forget about that. But um, yeah, he was the main running back next or last season, and he's definitely going to have a big impact on next season. Bo Melton, your top receiver is coming back. Shamin Jones is also. Uh, so you actually got your top three receivers there. Aaron Crookshank is also coming back for next season. So overall, looks pretty good for this team. Having all three of your receivers coming back, that's going to be huge for uh, no Vedral going into next season. Um, as for the offensive line, you lose one on there, one offensive lineman as well. Uh, you lose one linebacker and one in the secondary. So you lose three starters defensively, but that's not too much of concern for me. Uh, the main thing for this Rutgers team is how is this team going to be depth-wise? And that's a main concern for me going into next season because uh, this team, I mean, if we're being totally honest, the recruiting is just not good. Uh, this Rutgers team has got some of the worst recruiting in uh, the Power Five. And actually, uh, I mean, Rutgers, of course, has uh, improved slightly on that. I mean, they did halfway decent last year, but uh, this is still a Rutgers team that um, depth-wise is not doing too good. So that's a big concern for me, and especially – I mean, Arter Sikowski now transferring away. The quarterback position does not have a whole lot in Rutgers right now. But there is, once again, promising returning production. If you look at this team uh, receiving in, uh, skill in the skill positions, I mean, this team looks pretty good overall. I'm not too concerned about uh, the skill players on this team. But how many wins is this team capable of for next season? I mean, I'm sure many Rutgers fans think a bowl season is definitely possible, which I do agree. I think a bowl season is within 
um, within conversation for this Rutgers team going into next season. Like, I mean, six wins is possible. Uh, the schedule, I mean, of course, if you look at Rutgers here, uh, this is a team that uh, going into the next season does have a somewhat um, difficult schedule. I mean, you do have to play a couple of uh, tough crossover games for next season. So um, into the Big Ten West, of course, you got Wisconsin and Northwestern, you got to play them both. Uh, but overall, this team does not have a terrible schedule. Like, it's definitely manageable, manageable. So I think Rutgers next season is within, once again, conversation for a bowl game. But I would say it's less than um, – I mean, it's likely, but it's not extremely likely, if you know what I'm saying here. Uh, but, yeah, so chances somewhat low for this Rutgers team, but it's still possible. Looking at your schedule, you start the season against Temple. You got them at home. Then you travel to Syracuse, Power 5 opponent, on the road. Then you got Delaware as well at home to finish out your non-conference games then you got michigan on the road tougher one there uh, to start off your non-conference schedule then the next week you get ohio state so ohio state obviously being the big powerhouse in the big 10 that's going to be a tough one there got michigan state coming to town on the ninth as well then you travel to northwestern and then to illinois so you're Ill you're in illinois uh for two games consecutive there then you got wisconsin at home indiana on the road penn state on the road then maryland at home to finish out the season so once again, pretty interesting schedule. Non-conference games are not terrible. I mean, Syracuse is uh, one of the worst teams in the Power Five right now, so I'm not too concerned about that one. But looking at September here, Temple, easy win. Uh, not expecting much there um, out of Temple. Then you got Syracuse. It's going to be a close one, mainly because it's on the road, but I do think you get a big road win there in Syracuse. You also got Delaware. That's going to be a win as well. So you start off the season 3-0. Pretty good look for Rutgers um, going into next season, especially um, through those first three weeks uh, as you're going to be 3-0. But Michigan, different story. Tough game there in the big house. You take a loss. So uh, you'll be 3-1 heading into October. As for October, you got four games here. Ohio State, Michigan State, Northwestern are all going to be losses. I could see that Northwestern one potentially being closer. Uh, Northwestern is a pretty sleepy place to play. So um, that's definitely going to be a, a potentially close matchup there. But I do think Northwestern does uh, end up pulling it out in the end. Then you got Illinois on the road. Illinois next season is a mess. Uh, they're in a big rebuilding phase right now, and I think uh, you will get the win there. So uh, you do beat Illinois there on the 30th, and that's going to put you up to 4-4 four and four, uh, through the month of October. As for November, you got Wisconsin at home. You got Indiana on the road, Penn State on the road, and then, of course, Maryland at home to finish out the season. All four of those games are pretty tough. I can end up losing all four of them as well, uh, unfortunately. So, of course, Wisconsin being at home, I mean, who knows? That could be a potential upset bid there. Uh, but I think Wisconsin pulls it out. They're going to be in a tough situation there. Wisconsin, of course, is uh, definitely at the top of the Big Ten West going into next season. So uh, that's going to be a crucial game for them in the conference. Then you got Indiana and Penn State, both games on the road, um, especially Penn State. That's a tough place to play. But Indiana in general is also going to be a good team next season. And then Maryland. Uh, Talia Tega Viola, they're going to be a pretty good team as well. So I could see Maryland potentially getting to a bowl game. So I wouldn't say that could be a tougher one there. But 4-8 and eight is going to be a record for next season. Once again, I think this team is capable of making it to a bowl game, but that's not what I'm going to be predicting here today. Um, and for Rutgers, of course, I mean, if you look at this team, there is improvement here. And I think if this team can get up to four to five wins, that would be a good season. Like, I'm sure most Rutgers fans are thinking a bowl game is potentially possible, which, once again, it very much is. Uh, but for next season, I just think, I mean, if you can, once again, get up to four to five wins, uh, get a couple more wins than, than last season, I think that would be a very good improvement for this team. And I think this team would be in a pretty good position if they can get up to that point. And uh, who knows, potentially they can make it to a bowl game in 2022. Uh, we'll have to see what happens there. But let me know your thoughts and comments below on this Rutgers team. I appreciate you guys all watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you guys later.